easy to stay alive, or if Wings Gaming just need one more win to be your TI6 champions, let's head it over to the casters right now. It's Toby Wan and Merlini. I'm gonna get his levels down here because it's in a safe lane, but they are actually able to use a pull already, denying almost a full wave from the Timbersaw top lane. Uh, Ice side is being cancelled. That's full sticky napalm card from the vengeful spirit. She can't get away from this. There's no extra help. Zox is gonna drop right now. Blink burns him with misery. Looking for some revenge. Ice side dropping low misery. Void in three seconds, two seconds. He just slowing him down, stopping the turn rate. Two blink. Continuously going with the sticky napalm charges. While on bottom lane, Mu is trying to 1v2. He's still got mango available, so he wants to try and turn and fight this one. The potential is there while Ice Ice, the arrow connects on top. Resolution combining with misery. They find the stun, they find the damage, and they find the return kill. Trying to deal with Moo. Moo still has a lot of HP. He's not quite level 3, but Shadow, top of the CS charts right now with a healthy 12. Definitely gonna be happy with that. Black said if you can get image farm, we hard trouble in mid lane. Dropping low, he's got dark back available. He's burning out at the moment. Into the tree line, fade. That's gonna get caught in by the green wave. The attack from the tower. It may not be enough damage, it won't be. He'll get away. The TP's on the way from resolution. He'll have to go for a blind arrow. Leaps over. Fade turns around. Sora coming from a mile away. Oh, but without the blink dagger on the axe, this is gonna be extremely tough. Actually, he has no power. Yeah, he's got Shadow Dance however, but the stomp, the stun, the magic missile from Saksko will that be able to help out enough. Slark pounces on cooldown for four more seconds with Moonlight Shadow. From Resolution will allow DC to make a break to the tree line. We hot. Yeah, it looked like he was thinking of turning around and going for another opening. Shadow is fairly low, the bottom lane, Innocence, Silence up the Moon whirling deaths him down. Faith looking for a revenge for this top lane where they're about to initiate onto Shadow with the Dark Tank, the Magic Mister, the stop will force him to split, but back on bottom lane, Faith moving back to his own tier one tower, Moon body blocking it up, the Silence is there, whirling death, Altitude Shark from Timber Chain, no, no, Moon goes too far to the side. The enemy's got a revenge kill in the top lane in the meantime. He'll lose his life to the slot. Easy on DC, but they're still like they repaired all the damage the wings did early on. It was a 2k deficit in golden experience, and now that's changed around. Is that enough though? Again. Oh, face the blink. Get the call on resolution. Only ways available with the last two resolution will die here. No way to fight. Oh no! Leaves! Can he keep me out? Let me stop the tree line. They can see him. He will take a fall. He had a little bit more time to buy an item. But that calling blade. Fresh. Suxo as well as Moo together, but they couldn't find one on Ice Ice. He was back far enough behind the tower. Oh wow, we already have the Shadow Blade. That's very good timing considering how Paul really came was Misery. Yeah, they found him out. They push him back, and Misery will burn on Will. He, he can't get the outside the tree line, but maybe with Mutt Rider. Pulled out, the ET split is coming in. DT needs to split. Arrow is not available for the moment. Chakram doesn't actually reach up to wings, but Weehar is in. And he's looking for the Batrider. The perfect leash. Batrider comes down to the ground as the Firefly will wear off. And so will all of his life phase. A little bit too deep in stuff. The Chakra flies out. And now it's just fight after fight. Maybe going the way here for DC. Move goes in deep. Reactive armor charges don't exist for him. And his mana pool is also quite low. And Soxa wanted to play some of the Silver Ward right there, but. Maybe a little bit too obvious with that movement. Looks like Weed's rotating. Nope, he's actually just gonna pick up the rune and head back to mid lane. So DC, we looking for a weak support like the Keeper of Light. He is scattered out. Yeah, where is that, that target? Is that he finds one? Well, not the target he wants. He found ET. Call, pulls him back out over the shot. Replies forward. ET, not enough damage. Kill him until the Timothy Rune connects. ET split up well off the mark. And they look for more. The Courier into the tree lines. Blink kept out by resolution as he's finally rotated up from the mid, but Wings fighting back behind Dying the T1 tower. tower. He's on the 15 seconds till he's up. That arrow flies. Five seconds on the axe. Pounds over the trees and he comes through. They have the damage. Wings over the T1 tower. He brought it. Shadow is a blink of all. They need more stun than the damage. Shadow blinked up and the iron is killing him off. Shadow will die here. Nothing will stop this. Even the flame break can't find the space. Huge fight for DC. We are dissecting them with a the shadow blade. They cannot feel safe anywhere. Keeper Light just like stand there, defend towers, but when you wrap around behind like that with no vision, it is impossible to defend that. Dry coming into this fight. 
Still got 10 seconds till the last two comes off cooldown. If they can get him in that bottom rune, like oh, resolution, he just TP'd down bottom. Faith is gonna find him, it looks like. Radiant's yeah, they really tower. want him. He's, he's, he's hiding in the trees. They may know the smoke will break. And to blank hole. This time DC, one of as many TP's available. Resolution tries to leap against Culling Blade at mid flight. The TP did complete, so Moo is back behind the tower. This is not a great position for him to manually class forever, allowing Faith to blink and call again. Moo, high reactive armor signs are kicking up, but it's all coming too late. So he has to commit suicide as the tier one tower. Wow, so much for resolution getting his act at a timely clip. Two consecutive deaths. Faith They're also smoking this move. They pinged out, they want to go over there. Well, the observer ward, it doesn't fully see this, it just knows that they're there. The line being drawn out by Misery is a one to go straight down mid lane. So unless they want to flank around, this isn't really going to work for them in the Axe. Now Slark runs in, there is a sentry ward. The attack comes on the Axe and the call. Maybe with the last two, who can control the base? Yeah, already down. Weeha, and a jump away the Splitter, not finding a kill. Not to mention, Blink, very, very low on life. He might have tried going again as Misery. They move forward to Ice Eyes, from to Battle. Manalee with the blinding right, forcing back DC a little bit. On a tight time, gets the stomp off. Who is there for the double kill? The arrows fly forward as well. Who's it gonna connect on? Nobody in his shadow. Back to that tier 3 tower. Anti Mage getting pretty close to fighting shape as he works on his Yasha. Really need that Manta so he doesn't die to the Night Stalker. Crippling Spear. Mm hmm. Night Stalker. In the middle of the fight. Axe gonna miss out the call. And now he comes through. He's looking for an instance in the back line. The stop from Ice Eyes to slow down this fight. Not the greatest thing when you want Misery running. And he doesn't die in the tree lines. Move finding yet another kill. Ever since he got that bloodstone, he's triggered his suicide back up to 11 charges. I'm not quite certain what resolution's waiting for. He's just sitting in the middle lane. The great wave will arrive to call for the same the axe. Oh, Bat Rider gets hit by the arrow. The slitter is not, but then the leap in the double double. The magical damage is too much for Wing. Lou will survive. He was the one they wanted in us. Weeha, who gets the double kill. And Gem now goes away of Night Stalker. He almost has his egg and the gem complete. This is disastrous. We touch the kill. We actually come to the kill. He walks up the high ground out of the T3 town. He wants Ice Ice. The call of silence is there for misery. The army sort of has free way, but it doesn't matter. Ice Ice is already down. They jump forward aggressively. It's the fact that the gem. True side vision isn't the same as the Agonims, but they just see, still see so much. And Wings, they hide next to the Secret Shop right on top of a Radiant Observer Ward. DC know it, but then again, the Sentry Ward just got planted by Wings. They're not even sticking around to do the D Ward. They understand the that if they, hang, if they hang around too long, they're going to lose too much. The chicken flies in, it's got the man's on recipe. Ice side, take it down, Wings. But it's no way to go. They'll actually die. Two heroes down. They may find more. The courier will survive back over to tier three tower. But it's Moo who's on the charge. The Yule's on the bat rider. The four staff down. Start his TP. The Yule's already been committed, so there's no extra stun from Moo. Now Shadow, he has to start doing the creep skip. We saw Fear attempt something similar. Just keep that pressure up. Okay, he's not even doing that. He's too fearful. He they, want, they want Roach. They they want they want a DC to push top and then take Roach. Well, the arrow the misses, trade. but we half track. He finds Blink to pound forward. Faith gets the call off. You still got a decent amount of essence shifted in Faith. They know it'll protect him. Now, last two. They pull me in, but he already triggered the dark pack. Breaking for the battle boy. Shadow will be enough. The small battle of Weeha. Pull back in range and it's his battle link. A one for one trade off for now. The Kali Blade ensures the kill. The move. Timber chains forward. There was only one tree there for the work. Does he spray to two centuries? For the arrow resolution. Connect on anti mage. Will there be enough damage? He'll blink himself. Out to safety. DC, not that healthy. Again, this manually being a pain in the butt. But that's why you all set her up. Tipper Chain cancels. A very short one anyway, but Misery moves over. No nighttime available. He's also got the gem. Wings, they'll follow this once the end of the earth. The spirit's on top of the Misery to know where to go. Stunned up by the Manly. He'll give the gem over to actually no resolution. I thought they might have done a handoff. Doesn't happen. A move. Dying to wing. The blink. Oh, he gets interrupted. He had to take off the burn effect of that flame break up to the trees, but he knows he's dead. Great change by Wings. What a flame break right there. Winter was skeptical that they could pull it off. <laughs> that is. Roshan's not really down that far, only at 9k at the moment. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if they can do this right now. They have no damage aside from the enemy. It's only a half HP. Here comes Misery and that true sight. It goes inside the pit. They understand what's happening. 
He had the Aether yeah, on, he's going to jump out, but he actually gets the blink call over on the Misery. So the jump out, the EV split they really want to get that kill, and they got it. The Vengeful Spirit comes from the out, the Moonlight can't wait to enough. The Axe finds the kill. Boots a really good damage over the shot, but this is last turn. Turn goes for wins. They catch out the slot, they get three down, no, they can finish what they started. The death of Roshan. This Observer Ward, it's all in that night. Stalker that blinks away. Shadow of the Pistol Blade is also coming on the chicken. It's at the secret shop right now. Vanguard and Recipe. Wings feeling really good with his Aegis. This next defense from DC, it has to work. The arrow, five seconds over on the axe. Resolution jumps in. The double stop full damage to bring down the axe. So finally getting the small brick but Wings have rotated over the swap. Instantly canceling out the last turn. Move! BKB, break back by the three. Blue still the neighborhood shadow. There's your offensive blade, the mana boy on a resolution. Doing heavy work with the shark from doing more of it. Shadow is burning inside of it. The Aegis Immortal will trigger. Blink is away on low light. Do they have enough to kill the anti maga once again? They'll blink out. Moosting's with him. Yule Scepter up. Blink on cooldown at one second time. Now he goes Blink himself. Play break, pushing DC away. This will give Shadow just enough space to escape. Wow, that could have been so much work for them. Looks like Batrider was also able to take down Marana in the back line. She was so low after that mana void. Batra's better versus the AM, who's causing the most problems, but BKB is like a free kill on Batrider and or Keeper. Wings is coming down. They're looking for a kill on Moot. Almost everyone's here apart from the Marana. She does have BTs, but they can only TP the tier 2 tower. Now, call on the 2-3. Target the ball. Hit the shotgun. will do the work. Back forward with the Abyssal. The arrow. It connects with Shadow. Timber chain, one second, just to bring him back and range the tower. Unless they want to fight. Arrows of cooldown, blink forward. The arrow will miss. We are waiting. The ninja out from the trees. Face triggers the blade now as well as the BKB to pounce forward. Face getting closer back now. We are exposed to the mana boy. Lasting for us, DC, they going to range for it. But the stomp forward from my side can go for the stomp. No real way to get away from this one, especially when he gets put the fight down by the enemy. Move, can't chain away. He'll yule set the rub. The blink taker won't be up cooled out in time, so he just has a suicide when he hits the ground. The blink goes for more, burning up the vengeful spirit with the firefly. Okay, and it's confirmed. Shadow can bash on command. <laughs> what was that? Right off the Timber King, right as what Spartan was about to escape. And I talked about it the Basher versus the BKB. BKB, you would really love to have it for that fight. Mm -hmm. The difference about 3k swinging both ways. Arrow hoping to create a little bit of time, but it goes between all of wings as they attack into the tier 3 tower. Trying to get that one sec closer to the ages. It's now Ken Barbos down the double stop ball. The move is too low. He has five back in double. The coming blade it out. A block up four seconds until he's alive. No fortification. Arrow doesn't connect. Innocence. The horse tail doesn't catch it. The swap out. Sako again, sacrificing himself just to make sure they can get that double damage out from the Starfall of Resolution. But Stomp, Moon, Yule's up into the air. He has a way to get out thanks to Moonlight Shadow. They can play the envious game. Shadow going in very, very deep. Gets the sun over on Misery, but Weeha returns with the bat of his own. And now with a jump out, Resolution leaves the tree line. He is out of mana. He can't get out of this one. He can blink back into the fight in just a moment. Face the end, so low. Where's the damage of DC? Moon is a die back for him. Shadow's looking for the kill. They found Weeha. They brought down the melee rack. Shadow, Mana Styles out. Weeha has to bounce himself out of this one. Not bad stuff for DC. They will lose their range as well. The Wings have done the damage. Mateo with his easy man. I like this from Wee. He needs to create space. And he's looking over towards Faith Bian. He moves up to the up to the side shop. Shadow's here. Weeha is here. He needs to kill and get the hell out. One more attack. But he has to bail. 23 HP. Aggressiveness and wings 
It is a landslide as the grass drop. Can DC hold? This is their darkest hour, and not in a good way as <laughs> they have the Night Stalker, but this Radiance middle tower is, under is becoming attack. so grim for them. We just desperate to do something to save Radiance his team. But now he has no buyback wings, all assembling down the mid line. Here they come, wings. 52 seconds is the window. And they're gonna try and break DC's glass. The blink in the last turn. Misery instantly slot back out again. Shadow's in pretty deep, but he'll come over. Ducks are already on the sidelines. Misery now he's being controlled. The center plate is still up. Misery's gone. The cutting plate. That should be in right now. DC on the ropes has wings. They look towards the mid ranks. Bring down the tier three tower. Move. Trying to slow it up with a shot from resolution out of arrows and also out of teammates. DC. They have Slark up in 20. They'll have one more opportunity, and that's Radiance to defend the tier three racks on top. Radiance middle is there it is. The mid. The melee is down. Range racks will follow wings. Do they play safe? Do they back it up? No! And now they topple DC in a 3-1 victory here in K-Arena. Black has to be happy that anti-mage is going to...